Hey, and welcome back to another Magical Box tutorial. In this one, I'll be covering how to paint terrain to look somewhat realistic in a simple and easy to understand method. Okay, so before starting off this tutorial, I'd like to cover a roadmap I will have for future videos. Um, in this one, it will be texturing terrain. For the next video, I will cover hotkeys that I use. And for a video following after that, it will be shaders. I'll cover a in-depth analysis on shaders I use and the shaders that provide a magical voxel. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. Okay, so let's say you finished creating the outline for your scene and you want to go ahead and get coloring and texturing the terrain. Leave this file in the description below so you guys can follow along. Let's go ahead and select the clouds that are right here. I'm going to hit Control Shift H. Okay, take that back. I'm going to hit Control H to hide it. And Control Shift H brings it back to view. I basically just want to hide the clouds for now so I can see what exactly I'm texturing my terrain. Okay, now that the clouds are hidden, go ahead and select the um, scene that has the terrain in it. And then you press tab to go from the um, world view to the object view. And then we want to select color palette for our um, mountain here. So what we need to do is actually go on to Google. Once you're on Google, you want to go to the search bar, type in Adobe Color. Read the first link, you hit Explore. And then the search bar, just type in the, on, the word for your, basically, um, whatever the context of your scene is. So in this case, I'm just going to type in mountain because I have a mountain island. I'm just going to select, select the Color palette that I think would match my scene. And over here you can see you can copy these values and you can actually just left click copy. You can actually put it directly into Magical Voxel. So just click select an empty color palette and down here where these arrows are you want to change this 75, 75, 75 to the hex value. Select it. Hit Control V, enter. You can see we dragged the color from the color palette and uh, Adobe Color into Magic Voxel. And I'm going to do this with the remaining four colors. And once that's done, you want to hit select the region select and left click the mountain so that you've selected all the color, all the mountain, basically all the terrain. Want to go over to the color palette here, left click, drag, so you have these circles appearing, and then right click and hit random. It will replace the gray with a random, it will basically replace the gray with all these colors but in a random assortment. Hit control D to see what it looks like, and then go to render. You can see that it looks okay but there's a lot of white I want to change that so I want to zoom in here and grab these colors by basically holding alt and left clicking so like this one it's too bright so I want to make it darker one as well make it darker And um, what can happen sometimes is one or two of these colors will have a material. Uh, in this case, it looks like we don't have any one of those that is a material. But for instance, let's say this, for whatever reason, we had it as metal. You can see that it looks a little bit weird because it's trying to reflect off 
whatever light we have. So if we don't if we don't know which of these colors has that, you can just select that all and choose a material and it'll apply that to all the colors you have selected. So for now I just want to put it as um let's see, I'll try to do blend. I want to reduce the metallic and the reflectiveness and make it really rough. And then slightly transparent maybe. No transparency actually. Um down here where we want it to absorb. Because if you think about it, the ground absorbs light. Let's just get rid of the metallic shade. We don't really need any metallic. Um, see here. I'm actually gonna add maybe. I'm actually gonna tweak the colors just a little bit more. This one still looks a bit too bright, so I'll make it darker. And um, that looks okay for now. So I'm gonna. This is the base texture for our mountain. We're, let's go ahead and add the the grass part or the bushes or whatever. I'm gonna utilize a shader called Sand. Um, so for making the grass, you will want to select a new palette and choose a color for the palette. I want to make it somewhat dark, and we're going to utilize the gradient feature again that Magical Voxel provides. We we'll choose a color, another color on the opposite end of the spectrum that's lighter, and then the opposite end, Alt, Control, left click, the other side, and it creates a gradient. And then now with region select, you just select a color from the mountain. And um, make sure you hit Control. I mean, uh, you hit Alt left click on that color. I select the color, so it grabs that color. And then over on Shader, scroll down until you see Sand Two, and for color, find a color, find the index for the color you want for the grass. Then hover over here. Look at the bottom. You can see right here on the console that there's an index value. So I want 233. Change that number to 233. Hit um, play. See it added a green grass block essentially on top of the color. So we want to keep doing this on all the colors just to make it look more realistic. So I'm just going to Select the region select, select the that, alt left click, so it grabs it. And I can choose a different color for the grass. Go like two, three, five. Play. And we're just gonna rinse and repeat um, for these colors. Okay, now that you think you have enough grass blocks, you can go ahead and go to render and see what it looks like. It's looking pretty good. Um, I still think that the actual mountain is still too bright, what we have. So I'm actually going to change the darkness of it. by changing the value so it's darker on all of them. Yeah. Taking a look at it, it looks a lot nicer. Um, and that is basically it.
now you have a scene that looks somewhat realistic but also a scene that didn't take very long to make. So hopefully this simple tutorial has helped. Again, leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. And I'll have links to download the base file for this scene so you guys can follow along. And that sand shader. See you guys in the next video.